Hello my dear nerds, welcome to One Shot. I've heard about this game. I was told it's kind of like Undertale, but some of the features are really good. I, I have never played this game. I just installed it and then and, and, and then never played it. This is my absolute first time. I don't know if I should record in the desktop capture or just game capture, but yeah, I was like, why why not? Just let's just give it a shot and see how it goes. Alright. I forgot it. Oh, I forgot. Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the judge, Aaron Mullis. We miss you. Aww. It still has like the same controls, Z and X. <laughs> Hello? My computer, input password. I don't know the password. Is that the password? X is denied, okay. There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. Alright, that's the bed. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. The door is locked. Alright. Nico just woke up here, so you can't sleep again. But that looks like a key, doesn't it? The door is locked. But I can't I can't even see what, what's the door. Also, I'm sorry again, people are doing fireworks. S television remote. Okay, I did something. It doesn't respond to the remote. Nico looks at the button on the remote, but they cannot be read in the dark. Perhaps a light would help. Okay, I see, I see. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All of the numbers except 8329 are missing. Red and blue. and nine so this should be two nine two three eight let's go smartest man alive is my please tell me my mic is fine sometimes my mic automatic this is granted okay you found me why you're already too late not much of the world remains this will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Obviously. Then remember this. Your actions here will affect- Oh, it's there talking to me. Okay, your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot. Wait, what the- Why do you know my name? Hello? Anyone? Wait. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. So that's not good. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. In the kitchen there should be a stove. Inside the refrigerator there is a bottle of alcohol. Which is flammable. That's good. Am I not supposed to put alcohol on the wood to burn it? Wouldn't that be the most uh, in smart thing? Oh, it's a keyhole without a key. When you call my name, what else am I missing? Maybe something is on that side. Oh, there is another room here. Yo, Nico! Hi! A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. It's Nico. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Wait. No. Dry branch.
maybe I could use that spark. Ah! Yes, sir! There's something glowing. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged through a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. It's... It's the key! That's what I needed! They call me the smartest man alive. Okay, I just said I won't do voices in the Minecraft video. Why am I doing voices again? I don't know what kind of doors they have in Europe. Or like what kind of houses they have in Europe. I've never been... Oh, there was a door here. There's only one way, so... Wow, oh, the bit changed. The pitch of the music just changed. It changed again. There's a thing. I need it probably. It's a bulb. Don't step on it, Nico. There we go, that did something. What is this? A robot, it no longer has power. That's a tram. Is that also a robot? What's left of a robot? Huh? Ah! That light bulb, you're here! Yes! Welcome to our world, friend. I'm most humbled by your presence. Yes! Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you are right here? I am not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness you are our one shot um i will now provide you with vital information please ask me anything ah well uh can you tell me about this world i'm not sure where i am exactly i can't see too far off everything's so dark our world has not always our world was not always this dim nor was it br so broken but time waits for nobody not even saviors the world is divided into three regions you're on the fringe right now the barons that tower you see in the distance once held our sun oh so that's what the thing the tall thing was as you go further towards the center you will cross the other regions there should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in, in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your, uh, sun? Yes! Years ago, our previous sun sat atop of that tower and spilled its life onto the land. But one day, the light went out. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but the energy is finite. When the last of the light bulb dies, our world will too. Ah. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. 
That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, our world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about... Uh... In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Oh, the game is breaking the fourth fall. I love it when the games do that. Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message... <laughs> ...to Aryan. That's me. Aryan? Ah, that would be our god. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? It's so, it's so weird saying my own name. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Aryan. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Aryan for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about uh, going home? Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm, uh, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission was to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's the robot factory. Do the robots listen to Madonna? When you call my name. What's left of a robot's arm? Oh, this machine is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand too close. What if my scarf got caught in there? Then it'll pull me in and... I'm not gonna finish that sentence. So I I I figured out just now what the how are they like how they know my name. They are using the the the, the username from uh, from from Windows. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Nico wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. I can rap, yeah. On a dark desert highway. Cool wind in my hair. Sadly, this whole thing is going to be cut. A torn page with faded ink. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We, we will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of Metal Alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. The light bulb? So you are... So are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Hey, I'm 5'10! Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. Aww. Meow. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? No. -uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. This is going to sound cold, but... I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been fallen apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's uh, its highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? Uh, we haven't seen anything... Oh, we, uh, we haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you're... So you just got here. Then you must be headed to the, towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's, it's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb or the sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest as at the summit. Maybe it will send you back after you complete your mission. Oh, don't take my word for it, though. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. 
It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard. But maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of, matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least you let me know you got my message, okay? Okay. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? A backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator of the for the barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. I'm sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Something is poking from the shelf. Oh, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want it, may I help you? Are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. It's a metal chest table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a long time. Oh, not even with other robots? No, nobody in the Baron have the capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. A bed. It's made of metal. Doesn't look very comfortable. Do I talk to her or do I just leave? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody has ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh, he never told me if it went anywhere. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh, or not, I don't know. I, I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand too close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like e even the entrance tunnel got collapsed. Without a vehicle, we cannot proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines. The source of this world's matter and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been a while. When the sun went out, our mines were the first thing to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was that one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Is it the one we we saw? Well, let's just go out then. Ready to leave? Uh-huh. Oh, it's just the mines. I'm so bad at navigation, dude. Oh my god. What is this? Oh. oh okay, it's another like thing. There's a note. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in the full daylight when the lens is facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens of the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Is it just a light? This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry up. Don't I? I thought I did. One, a robot may not injure a living person or through inaction allow a person to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict the, the first law. A robot must protect its protect its, protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict the first or the second law. There's a computer here as well. It won't turn on. There's another note. The use of a robot as our replacement head. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. 
I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. A page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have pro We have provided customized backup cells for, for the few most important robots. The electromagnetic fields are such weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single time. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Oh, I didn't go there. I didn't go here yet. What's over here? A metal pipe. Must have broken off from one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. I, I think this is how you save the game. Oh, okay. So it just went away. Okay, so I only had one shot. So once you save, the game just turns off. That's incredible. I oh my god, that is the best feature ever. Well, anyways, this is the this is uh, the first episode of uh, one shot. It's it's a really fun game. I I love the like the, the idea of it. I love all the mechanics. Also, the the store page has some sort of code which I'm supposed to remember. I forgot to write that down, so I'll go do that, and thanks everyone for joining, thanks for staying, and I'll see you guys in episode 2 of One Shot.